Hey Virgos, welcome back to the channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you are new, welcome. Please do put a like and a subscribe on the video in my channel if you enjoy my readings. Um, putting a like on the video helps the algorithm get the video out to more people. So if you are able to do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Just takes one second. Um, yeah, so this is a channel for Virgos. You don't have to be a Virgo sun. You could be a Virgo moon, rising, Venus, Mars, wherever Virgo is in your chart. And uh, yeah, personal reading links are below. Well, personal reading link is below in the description box. So yeah, we're gonna do your weekend reading, okay? Weekend love reading. And as usual, some of the messages may or may not resonate. Just take what fits, leave the rest. And um, hi everybody in the chat and all the mods. Give a please give a big thumbs up to the moderators. I would greatly appreciate that too. I'm sure they would. All right, Virgo, let's get into your <laughs> weekend reading. So this is going to be for um, December 16th, 17th, and 18th. So see what the energies are for Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And um, Sunday evening, I'll be back with your singles reading. So if you want to see if anyone new is coming into your life, if there's any love showing up. I see my camera really dark. I think it's all right. Um, yeah, tune in. I'm here Sunday through Thursday, 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Okay, let's get started. Virgo, one of the messages for the weekend for Virgos. What's the drama? What's the tea? Okay, Friday. Okay, lovely. Heartbroken. Deeply hurt. Sad. Separation. Maybe a breakup. Feeling lost. Grieving. Mourning. Okay, it doesn't necessarily mean that there's going to be a breakup. Um, it's a feeling of heartbrokenness, okay, or feeling a sense of um, just sad. You might be in separation from someone, maybe you have been for a while, okay, um, or there was a breakup, or there's this mourning sense, or maybe you're on this path of healing, and then Friday you might get triggered, or something comes up, or, you know, maybe it's just the cycle that you're going through you could be you know getting into the holiday season thinking about someone missing someone um in separation maybe you're not broken up or you just separated from someone um and there hasn't been much in the way of communication okay so i feel like friday there may be a little bit of this melancholy uh stuff going on okay um so prepare for that, you know, um, brace yourself, Virgo. <laughs> um, but you know, again, the messages it may or may not resonate for you. So we'll just see how that goes. Don't set yourself up to take off Friday night and just be in a sad mood. You know, um, don't make it happen. Just go with the flow. Let's see what other messages there are here. Um, and I also want to state that for others, this could be somebody else for some of these could be somebody else who's feeling this way. Okay, so for some, there could be a Pisces. Could also be two people feeling this way. All right, so we have the Nine of Cups. Let's see. Oh, wow, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, okay. Hmm. All right, Virgo, I'm just going to give it to you straight. I'm going to give it to you straight here. Here's your card right here, the Virgo card. We have Pisces, Taurus, and Virgo. I feel like there's an energy. Someone feels like you were, or someone feels that another person was the best thing that ever happened to them. I feel there's a lot of, like, during a separation or a sense of um, feeling sad or feeling lost, another person is reminiscing and thinking about all the fulfillment and the joy and the happiness and the satisfaction um, and the abundance that someone brought to them during or in a relationship. I feel like someone feels left out in the cold. Okay, so there might be like this, um, you don't know what you got till it's gone. You know, and, and kind of like this recognition of um, 
wow uh, it feels like this like this person fulfilled everything okay um and i feel like someone here is like completely single like on their own there's nobody else in the picture there was a connection there's this element with someone is kind of like yes another person fulfilled everything that i needed emotionally but at the same time there was a struggle there was a, a maybe some abandonment or you know it, it's very contrasting okay so there's this feeling sad without another person and kind of like romanticizing all the good times and remembering all the good times and kind of having those good feels, but also um, thinking about um, the loss and the difficult aspects of the relationship as well. So somebody's going through it here. Okay, somebody's going through it. And if this is you, I see you here with the Nine of Pentacles on Friday. You're like, you look good, right? There's some financial stability in your life. You're independent, um, prosperous, abundant. Um, if this is you, you are um, gain, you know, receiving your gains through hard work as well. You know, um, thriving, definitely, maybe in business or your status is good. Um, and you're on your own, though. You're on your own, okay? And you're kind of like, I feel like there's a little bit of um, fluctuating emotions in regards to some type of separation, okay? Now, also, I feel that's going on with somebody else as well. You know, it's like, oh my gosh. Virgo was so great, everything I've ever wanted, but then we had all these problems or this thing happened and the circumstances changed or there was a financial um, struggle, temporary hardship um, or a negative change in the relationship or someone was abandoned or felt like, you know, there's adversity. The, the Five of Pentacles is always in a relationship reading my um, struggle love connection, okay? But this person also is, they're on their own. They're single. Everything I described as far as them being um, stable is definitely there. And I feel like that's more to do with, you know, money. If there was a breakup because of... Um, being poor or poverty or something like that somebody here is like back up on the horse and doing well you know um okay now the five of pen or the five of two fives okay the five of wands so that conflict that's a leo card right there so um hmm some arguments yeah i feel like somebody is kind of thinking about a past relationship and um it, it, on friday and just conflicted emotionally and physically um somebody's emotions are affecting them physically you know there's like um really thinking hard and thinking back on um a relationship grieving it mourning it all being all by themselves being alone and kind of like, oh, I miss this person, but at the same time, I don't miss the struggle. And so there's, and the conflict, and yeah, there's a lot of that energy playing out Friday, okay? I'm not so necessarily sure that you're going to get any kind of um, communication or anything like that from someone. I don't feel that here. I just, it just feels to me like maybe you and another person or one of you or both of you are kind of reassessing or assessing or just sitting with the feelings and looking back on things, looking back on what was created and just feeling a loss, really. Even, even there's even a loss about the conflict. Um, I'm feeling like somebody here is like, you know, this person really put up their dukes and in some ways they kind of liked the challenge or maybe it was you, you know, um, because there's something here about it feeling real, you know. Um, I, I don't know who would like conflict, <laughs> but maybe somebody felt like um, it was alive. 
It was a it was a live, living, breathing relationship. It wasn't just all unicorns and rainbows. There was some conflict. There were some struggles. But it feels like someone's here. Like you know, despite all the the struggles that we've had and and all the the conflict or the arguments or the disagreements or the battles, what have you, it was totally fulfilling <laughs> totally it just feels that way to me and, and I feel like someone is single on purpose um because somebody's thinking about another person here you know really reminiscing and missing another person okay so there's a grieving energy for sure in you know the grief process is a lot is like an up and down kind of um roller coastery of emotions you know one minute angry one minute um, sad one minute, um, joyful, like it's, it's, it's an unstable process, but I feel like somebody is stable in general, you know, in other areas of their life. Okay. So that's Friday. Okay. That's Friday. Let's see what Saturday brings. Okay. <gasps> wow. All right. This came out upright karmic relationship, uh, fleeting triggers, turmoil, resentment losses letting go and loving you wow huh okay saturday's reading this weekend reading is going somewhere here it feels like wow um i feel like someone here is on saturday um, looking back, like in retrospect at the lessons learned, there were some lessons learned. There's an energy here of like still loving another person, but letting that person go. Okay. So it feels like a progressive kind of reading where Friday is, is more so like feeling some feels and then saying, oh, this might have been a karmic relationship or another person, It could, maybe not you, it could be another person who doesn't even realize that or doesn't use those words, a karmic or a karmic relationship. Um, it doesn't feel necessarily like, oh, this is over 100%. It could, I have to get more into the reading, but it does feel like somebody recognizing like, wow, this was kind of karmic. This was kind of toxic. There was some problems here. Um, a little bit too much conflict and struggle than there was a fulfillment and joy, okay? So it feels like the scales were, either they were or they became a little tipped in the wrong direction here. Uh, let's see what else is going on here. Oh, wow. Ten of Swords. And after that comes the Magician. All right, and the Knight of Cups. So, yeah, somebody is surrendering here to this was not healthy. This relationship, this connection was not healthy, and it needed to end. The, the unhealthy aspects of the relationship needed to end. And Saturday, there's acceptance of this. Okay? Saturday, there is this breakdown. I don't feel like, it's like hitting rock bottom. I don't feel like somebody is um, giving up completely. It feels more like acceptance that it is what it is and it was what it was, okay? However, there's a caveat, okay? We have Gemini and we have Scorpio and um, possibly Virgo again. But the caveat is... There's a desire to manifest a new start here and come back in with this Knight of Cups, okay? So I feel like somebody is Saturday, either they're thinking about this. Um, it feels like, okay, I've accepted, whether it's them or you, I've accepted that this is, um, this whole thing was difficult and I've accepted that and I've accepted the conflicts. It's also surrendering to someone's, um, what's the word? 
contribution to it being a struggle. And this magician is telling me someone here wants to manifest this love, make an offer, an invitation to start over, following their heart, try to fix something, to heal it, um, have a new beginning here. Okay, so there's a very gentle, affectionate dating offer that comes in. Okay, wow, it's pretty heavy. Somebody here is still very attached to another person. This is Capricorn energy. Somebody here is very attached, can't let go. That's what I feel like the energy. <laughs> My grandson just came in, he's so cute. Um, somebody's very attached. Yeah, can't let go. Definitely, and that's why someone is wanting to try to manifest a, a new beginning. Um, that love has not gone away. It feels to me like the love is not, it's, so it might have been a hot burning fire, and I feel like it kind of diminished to a, a very small little flame, but the flame is still there, okay? The flame is still there. Um, there you go, Ace of Wands a new beginning. Try to have growth. I do feel like um, there's definitely some type of an offer that possibly could come in over the weekend. Now, don't get discouraged if you don't hear anything from anyone. This could happen throughout the rest of the month as well, okay? Um, but for some of you, you may get some type of a reach out. That Ace of Wands, there's definitely, listen, Virgo, a very strong physical attraction. Definitely a strong physical attraction. And there's a lot of growth, if you know what I mean. Um, somebody is, whether it's you or another person, um, just thinking about you um, gives rise to something, okay? Um, thinking about another person, physically starting something, um, planting a seed and having some growth. I mean, I do feel like the attraction, um, the physical intimacy, the, um, gosh, the attraction is just very powerful, Virgo, and that is like enough for someone to kind of say, you know, we have this great love, this, this like amazing, like, uh, gosh, can't stop thinking about you, almost obsessively thinking about you or you about them or two people, and it's like, can't let that aspect go can't let that physical thing go. There's got to be a way to um, sort out the toxicity that occurred and try to make something healthier and just bringing in the love. You know, the light drives out the darkness. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a little Martin Luther King quote here, but the light drives out the darkness and the light is that Knight of Cups following their heart. This person is in, like they love you or they're in love with you. Okay, they can't because that nine of cups there has not gone away. It's still there. You are everything for me. You are a wish come true. And we had these struggles and there was some kind of breakup or separation or something. And someone's grieving the loss. Okay. So Saturday looks like some type of expression of love coming to you. Doesn't mean Saturday that you guys are going to have that connection and then just get right back restarted. No, it feels like because the magician is here, um, somebody's coming in with some smooth talking vibes and words and trying to um, try to manifest, laying all their cards out on the table. There's even an energy of like talking about how toxic things were, you know, and how difficult things were, but also I still love you, right? I do love you, okay? So, holy moly, somebody's hitting rock bottom here. It's like, can't, there's nowhere else to go but up at this point, okay? Um, breaking down, just a complete collapse and breakdown. All right, let's take a look at Sunday. What are Sunday's messages, Virgo? Sunday, December 18th, Sunday's messages. Okay, ooh, kisses. Unconditional love, 
giving and receiving affection, falling in love. All right, Virgo. So, hmm, things are shifting. There's going to be a shift. There's a falling in love again. Um, for some of you, this is a kiss and make up scenario. Kissing and making up. Whew. All right, let me see what's going on here. Oh my gosh, 10 of cups. Wow. Yeah, Virgo. Um, there's definitely a kiss and make up kind of thing going on here on Sunday or coming to you. Definitely. Can you see the cards? Okay, good. Yeah, that's Piscean energy there. We have Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Um, okay, there's, um, let's get back to happiness. Let's get back to the marriage. Let's get back to the family. Let's have there's somebody um, wanting a reunion here, wanting to kiss, <laughs> be affectionate with each other, feeling that love, that, that small flicker flame blowing up into a big bonfire here. Okay, let's secure the relationship long term, um, getting together with family um, or getting the family together, this energy, you know, it's the holiday season, of course, so the magic happens. Oh, look, here's the King of Swords. Okay, this comes through as Libra, but it could also be Gemini or Aquarius. This is someone who is showing up in their truth, okay? Someone who is very intelligent, rational, logical, authoritative, um, good manners, good conversationalist, discerning, detached, cool, honest, full of integrity, um, ethics, morals, very clinical and stern. Um, but also this person or somebody, could be you, okay, could be you, but this person showing up very intentional. And they're, in, and they're coming in with their intentions here to Ten of Cups, happily ever after, right? Coming home, reunion, reuniting. And just, I feel like they're just giving me that Beatles song, All You Need Is Love. I'm not singing it. I sang yesterday like I was some kind of choir girl. I'm not singing it today. All You Need Is Love. It's like light and love drive out the darkness. And it's not a band-aid. It's healing. It's a healing kind of thing going on here. Wow, you've got strength. Wow. <laughs> Strengthening the relationship. I mean, this reading is just from point A to point B all the way through point abc all the way through okay leo energy there let me see get a clarifying card wow the fool aquarius taking a risk going on this adventure a fool for another person someone falling in love is a fool for love with another person absolutely like throwing their cares to the wind, having that confidence to just say, I don't care what happens. I'm forgetting about our conflicts. We'll work them through. I just want to love you. I just want to kiss you. I want to hug you. I want to touch you. Um, I just want to be near you and, and just let that love heal everything. Love heals everything. God is love. God heals all. So Virgo, you know, and look, and there's you and there's your cards more specifically and somebody is like really crazy in love with you now i called out all the signs so if it's not a sign that you recognize don't worry about it i'm calling for you it would just be the energies i'm calling out virgo taurus capricorn here or you know could be another virgo or earth sign as well but it feels like can we just kiss and make up yeah, there will be this coming to realize, you know, hitting rock bottom. Will there be communication and apologies and stuff? I don't know for sure, but I do feel like there will be some truth told and some clarity given over the weekend, or at least at some point in regards to this, whatever caused a heartbreak or some kind of a breakup, okay? I do, I am picking that up here. Maybe there's like just a conversation that starts everything. All right, let me see what the Hidden Truth Oracle is here. What is the Hidden Truth Oracle message? I know I crossed the line with you. 
All right, now when I'm giving these messages, it could just take into account, it may be this person, it could be you. Some of you might've crossed the line with someone or feel like you did. Um, and maybe there's like this recognition or realization of it. And for others, it's another person who's having that, those feelings. I wish things could be different. And I do feel like somebody doesn't want this to turn into or doesn't want to continue in a karmic relationship. Karmic relationships can be healed. They can. But it takes a lot of self-awareness and self-reflection. Okay. Um, and when two people can sit down in front of each other and say, you know, I've done a lot of reflecting back on the things that have happened. Um, I, I feel like I definitely played a role in why, you know, why you did what you did. And um, another person says, yeah, no, I, my karmic contribution was the way I reacted to the things that you did and made, you know, and it just feels like a talking it out and just kind of like there's humility and, um, it, you know, I don't feel like it's, it feels very mature. You know, it feels like a very mature energy. It just feels like two people or at least one person taking responsibility for their contribution to the negative aspects of the relationship. And so it feels like very healthy to me and wanting things to be different. Maybe the timing just wasn't right for us. For some of you, this is right person, bad timing. Um, right person um, couldn't make it work. The timing was off. There were other responsibilities or commitments that got in the way or things like that. Um, and it, it, it was like the love was found though, you know, like the, like the feeling and the love and the spark and all that was a hundred percent there. But either one or both people let external things get in the way and that began a deterioration process of the relationship and then caused conflicts and someone felt unloved or, you know, left out in the cold, even though the love was there. Can karmic relationships be healed? I do believe they can be. Um, I believe like letting go of resentment and anger and, you know, letting go and loving another person and maybe even to a degree of like, you know, forgiveness is huge, you know, forgiving not just other people, but yourself, you know, um, and recognizing triggers as well. And I feel like that energy is probably going to come up in a conversation. You know, somebody might say, you know, I was a little triggered by something and I reacted to that trigger, you know, and that trigger was something that was set in stone before you came along. Okay. Um, and so there's a lot of like opening up about stuff here. Okay. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. Um, I feel like somebody here has a creative imagination um, <clears throat> when they think about another person, not just thinking about memories, but creating these scenarios in their head of what it would be like if we got back together, how things could be if, you know, we actually got through these conflicts or creating imaginations or things in the mind, like purposely staying awake so that they could just sort of live it in their mind and feel it, you know, um, of being together or of, of going the distance with things here. My life is not to, as together as it seems. So there's a little bit of a confession as well, a kiss and makeup and a conf and some confessions that, you know, somebody might say, you know, I, I hid behind my work or, um, I didn't realize I was doing that. Um, or I portrayed myself to be something more than I was because I have shame or I have some guilt or I have like things that I didn't feel like I would be accepted and there was conflict because somebody maybe was not telling the truth or somebody was just being uh, maybe neglectful or putting stuff in the relationship aside um, and just kind of saying, no, everything's fine and just blowing it off and not really connecting and resolving problems, right? Um, but somebody here feels to blame fully 
Um, they're taking full responsibility for why everything fell apart. And I think maybe there is a chance, a percentage that somebody might be taking on too much of that responsibility. And I always feel like it takes two to tango. There's a saying that um, I heard and it says, it takes two people to lie. It takes one person to deliver the lie and the other person to accept the lie. So when that happens, when someone lies and another person is aware of the lie, but they accept that lie, then that makes both people, um, not victims, but co-conspirators in the fantasy or in the lie. Okay. But when the lie, when someone doesn't accept it, um, then there's only one person who's lying, but generally it takes two, right? So I feel like someone here, um, is blaming themselves and it could be both of both people sitting in front of each other and saying one person saying I messed up everything it's all my fault and the other person saying no no it's not it's all my fault you know and then there's another conflict and then you guys are competing with who who did the, the other the dirtiest <laughs> so there's just this strong desire to take accountability and try to make things get back to even be even better than they were before a breakup Okay, wish I could share my good news with you. So somebody also has some news they want to share with you or you want to share it with them. Okay, also one person came closer than any other person did in their life. Okay, um, somebody let someone real close into their life and that I feel is because there's either one or two people here that don't normally do that. They don't normally open themselves up to people and somebody did, okay? And that was the closest. And I feel like that's very significant as to why the feelings are still here and as to why there's a, I don't wanna, well, there's a reunion. I don't necessarily feel like reconciliation, but somebody wants to kiss and make up. I feel like somebody here wants to say, you have no idea how hard it was to let you go. And, and, and yeah, I let you go, but I didn't stop loving you. I never stopped loving you. Okay. Heavy duty. Let's see what your romance angels messages are here for the weekend. Okay. So children might be affecting the relationship. This also can be the six of cups. So that can be a reconciliation, thinking about the old times, thinking about memories, um, reminiscing, definitely wanting a reunion, being in a nostalgic mode. There might be some gifts that are given. Also coming up on the holidays, um, you and this person could have met when you were children or you have um, some kind of, uh, maybe there's children between the two of you or um, maybe for some, the relationship started in its infancy and maybe and please don't get offended but maybe both of you kind of acted like children in the way you were dealing with each other okay and and the relationship was affected by childlike behavior as well one might have set the other off and things like that could have happened and i kind of get a sense that you know for some there there's definitely a Children represents like um, like an immaturity too. So there could have been an immaturity to the relationship that caused the breakdown or deterioration, which could have made a karmic because when you've got two adults in a relationship, romantic relationship, acting like children, <laughs> that's a mess. You know, that's throwing sand at each other in the sandbox, really. So, okay, you deserve love. I'm picking up Sagittarius right now. You are lovable, and I feel like this is definitely a message. Well, I'm, I can't really specifically say who's saying this to another, but I will say one person does feel like another person is lovable to a fault, and another person feels like another person deserves the best and biggest and greatest love of all, okay? Whether you feel that way about somebody or they feel that way about you, Take it as it resonates. Okay, worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. And we're back to the timing thing. That's what I was saying here. Um, it, right, right person, wrong time. 
okay? Timing just wasn't right, but I feel like there's a waiting energy. I feel like one or two people are waiting for the other person, and it's like not giving up, letting go, putting some distance, but still loving each other. And I feel like this whole thing is just going to come back around again, but healed. It feels like healed, okay, Virgo? So again, and I have to just give that caveat, and I have to say, this isn't for all of you. Some of you, you're like just here because you're just listening and you're waiting for Sunday singles reading. I get it. And some of you are like, no, I want this healing. This is my person. Okay, so just keep that, you know, be mindful of that. Let me see what the Chinese signs are here. Okay, year of the rooster is here. Year of the monkey year of the dragon year of the pig and real quick i just want to say to all of you that i've given personal readings to this uh this month thus far i just want to tell you all that you are all such amazing people i have absolutely enjoyed speaking to every one of you and man i have been booked and I just want to tell you all that I love you and I wish you all specifically a very Merry Christmas and thank you so much for booking with me. I have thoroughly enjoyed talking to all of you. And so I'm calling out those of you who have like reached out to me and we've had our phone readings. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so we had Year of the Pig, Year of the Rat, Year of the Rabbit, Year of the Snake. There's a rat again. And year of the horse, okay? So that may be you, that may be your person, might be both of you, and might be none of you. So take it with a grain of salt. Okay, let me just see what your messages of love are here for the weekend. Oh, acceptance. Everything happens for a reason. I felt like that, accepting that it, it was what it was. It is what it is. We can start fresh, okay? We accept the way things went. And in order for us to have a new beginning or try to heal and make things better, even better than they were from the beginning, we've had growth, we've matured, we've grown up. <clears throat> Once we accept those things, then we have a shot at, you know, rebuilding or building something here. Okay. So there might have been an external party that intruded on the relationship. Okay. For some of you, that could have had something to do with a heartbreak or a breakup. Um could have been another person could have uh, for some of you it could have been betrayal infidelity um, for others it could have been a non-romantic partner who in a third party a friend family member could have been an interference like that it could have been a work situation it, it could have been um just life there could have been you know you you and your person during the uh the the pandemic could have been um caused a lot of conflict together and you know there was a lot of make or break situations that happened out of that 2019-2020 situation you know so some type of interference definitely um and also it could have like a thing i would i would probably say that might have been more of a thing um really just anything you know your story you know your story so just a party of or something, an interference outside of the relationship. Okay, and there was time apart. Distance helps bring clarity. And I feel like there's distance, and that distance, that separation, that time apart between you and another person is bringing clarity. That's what's happening here. That's what's happening here. You don't know what you got till it's gone. That distance gives people time to marinate, think about things reassess try to figure out like get a handle on understanding what might have happened um or even just getting to a place of accepting if they if two people can't figure out really like where the snowball started just accepting that there was a snowball that's it there was just a snowball and then there's a better way to deal with these conflicts and finding but it starts with love right it starts with the love um, all right, let me get some of your birth dates and signs here. Okay, we have Taurus, 
double Libra, Leo, okay? Um, August 24th, uh, September, oh, and August 29th, um, September 2nd, um, September 9th, the 19th. Okay, we have the 5th, the 7th, and the 10th. And someone is 50 years of age here. Okay, let's see. What other signs do we have? Okay, Leo, double Leo. A lot of you are connecting with a Leo for sure. I kept feeling that energy. Um, Cancer and Pisces again. Oh, Libra again. Aries, Taurus, Sagittarius. And I'm going to do one more. Give it a good shuffle. Okay, Virgo, Scorpio, Libra again, and Cancer. Okay, now if I didn't call out your person's sign, like I said, don't don't sweat it. If the reading resonates for you and you're like, yep, 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 then that's for you. All right, one more of these. Okay, um, hmm, August 31st. Someone's born 1980. Um, September... September 17th and the 21st, um, September 12th, um, August 27th, and did I say August 25th? Can't remember. Um, somebody's 37, somebody was born in 1973, and, um, hmm, I'm also picking up the 21st. Okay, so like I said, you guys, if that resonates for you, great. If it doesn't, don't worry about it. It doesn't mean it's not your reading. Let me get a couple of charms, and I'm going to send you on your holiday weekend. Okay, oh, we've got a bone. <laughs> I have a bone to pick with you. There's a bone. It looks like it could be a dog bone. It could also be a set of weights as well. So there's a bone here. Um, hmm. Buried treasure, they're just saying. Buried treasure, or somebody's doing something with a dog over the weekend as well. There's an energy of like a dog or a treat. <laughs> but something with a, with a dog, maybe you're getting some bones or you're um, getting some bones for a dog if you have a dog. Hold on a minute. Oh, okay. Maybe you're eating something? Like somebody, all right, so they're giving me this image. There's a person I'm seeing who, when they eat like, like a drumstick or something, or some food that has a bone in it, like bone in, this person, it, they eat the food down to the bone. I mean, cartilage and all. <laughs> all the fat, all the skin, all the meat, all the tendons. The, whoever this person is. I mean, this person's like, I don't know if they're like a dog. I don't know. This person, like, licks licks the bone clean. Like, they lick their plate clean. They, they finish all the way to the bone. They leave nothing untouched. Okay. I don't know if that's someone that you know or if that's you. You know, I'm I'm not privy to cartilage and tendons and stuff, but you know, somebody here is like finger licking good is what I'm what I'm hearing. So I'm actually leaving it there. I'm not gonna pull up any more of those. I just feel like um oh okay, and then they're also saying one more thing. Um and please forgive my candidness, but somebody um somebody gets a B O N E R. <laughs> There's my 12 year old giggle. Somebody gets a B O N E R for another person. Um, now, maybe that's you for someone, or um, that's someone for you. Either way, yeah, that's a big, that's big. They have a, they have a bone for you all the time. I'm leaving it there. We're not going down that road. You know how my readings get when I get into that. And no, I can't right now. So I'm going to leave that there for you. I hope that your weekend turns out beautifully like this reading. And um, yeah, I will be back here on the 18th on Sunday for your singles reading. So please 
tick that notification bell and enable all notifications or personalize it just to you. And the other thing, you guys, if you're not getting the notifications, make sure that after you tick that bell, that you go into your phone, whether you have Android or iPhone, whatever, and enable notifications in the app, okay? So you will get that, because I know some of you are ticking the bell and you're like, I'm not getting the notifications. If you're new, a lot of you are just showing up here at 1030, you don't tick the bell anymore, because you know I'm pretty much here 96% of the time. All right, so I hear my grandson crying, so I'm going to have to get going. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend. I love you all very much, Virgos, and I will see you all back here on Sunday. All right, take care. Bye.